Hey high school leaders, we are beginning a new series this Wednesday night that is very challenging. I'm actually a little worried about preaching it because I know that when I preach this sermon, I am going to have to uh, live out what I'm preaching. The series we're starting is called Angry. And throughout the series, we'll be introducing students to the concept that God gave us the emotion of anger to motivate us to action. But not actions that are sins, but actions that are for Him. So, uh, as a small group leader, you're going to be challenging students to uh, consider what makes God angry. Uh, you know, what is it that angers God? And then, in the second week of the series, we're really going to be pushing students to not only have ideas about what make God, what makes God angry, but then to figure out what we can do about it. You know, yeah, these things make God angry, and we should be angry about those things too, but then what can we do about it? And, and we'll be introducing them to ideas and trying to get them to think about ideas like if, if it's a divorce that angers God and the destruction of the family, then maybe what they could do is they could take a night out and offer uh, to babysit for free for a couple whose marriage is really struggling. Or, or if it's malnutrition in Africa and all these kids dying uh, over there because they don't have clean water or anything, or they're having water wars, um, then, then maybe they can sell water bottles and, and raise money and then give it to an organization who's providing clean water uh, for African countries. Or, or maybe if it's, you know, they're just frustrated that uh, some people don't have food like the homeless people in Atlanta, then they can go serve at a soup kitchen. And hopefully, we won't just come up with these ideas of ways to do things, but we'll motivate the students to actually go and do something together. And, and maybe if you have the time, as the small group leader, you could do something life-changing and go with them uh, to, to one of these events or one of these things, ideas that they come up with and go do this activity with them. In the third week, we won't even have any small group discussion. We won't have worship. We are going to spend the whole night actually letting the students get their hands on some service opportunities uh, where they can really make a difference, where they can take some action on their God-given anger. Uh, we're going to be teaming up with two organizations uh, that both are work to help girls who have been pulled out of the sex industry. Uh, young girls who have just, you know, at a young age been been sold uh, to have sex with men and, and just been told that their lives ruined and they've been pulled out of that and both of these organizations help to, in their recovery and help them get their feet on the ground and make something of their lives and show them real love. One's based in India uh, and they sell some handbags to help fund their organization so we're going to be selling some of those handbags as well and, and encouraging the students to go and sell those to their friends. As well as there's an organization actually based right here in Atlanta um, that we are going to put together some care packages for those girls who have been pulled out of that sex slave industry and, and just give them a gift without asking anything in return, which they are not used to at all and that's going to be uh, a big life changer for them, I think. Um, and then also on that third week, we are actually going to be having some homeless people live at our church through the Family Promise Ministry, and we're going to be doing something with it. We'll also be introducing the students to organizations like Rescue Atlanta, where they feed the homeless in Atlanta, um, as well as World Vision, where they you know, help little kids in Africa and third world countries um, be able to go to school and have food and just provide for them. Uh, so we're going to really be practical and very challenging. And I hope that this series um, is, is not just lessons that get us thinking and having good conversation, uh, but it's a series that motivates the students to action, uh, to not just get caught up in being angry about the little dramas of high school life and you know what are they going to wear and where are they going to make money and how are they going to buy their car and turn these students focus to you know those things are not really that important in the big scheme of things God really cares about these things God's really mad about these things and I should be mad about those things as well and hopefully it provides a, a whole new story for them and a, and a whole new way of living a whole new way of thinking 
for them that really challenged them to use their life, to use their anger for God. All the curriculum is below, um, so if you would download that and uh, pray over it, please. Uh, I really think that this series is going to make a big difference. Let's challenge ourselves as we read through this, these small group questions and, and think about this series. Let's challenge ourselves first, and then let's challenge the students. And I really think that through the series, we can not only push students to, to love God, uh, to love others, to connect with others, but most importantly, to serve the world. And that's what we're going to be pushing students to do in this series. And that's our third most important priority of this youth ministry. Push students to serve the world. Thank you so much for your involvement. See you Wednesday.